guys welcome again to money machine today i'm going to be sharing with us how to pass your tests and scenarios uh, in remote task training without the help of anybody and this is simply put you may have been trying to get tests uh, get the the training online and the reason why i don't post training on my youtube um, page anymore is because of this anytime i post a video remote tasks me because of the volume of users the volume of taskers when you post a video, you just find out that the next day that tax is no longer avail available and then the, just a few persons are going to see the video and it's not just going to be okay. But I'm going to show you really how to pass your test and examination and get tax done and get it done at the right time. So this is it. Let's go into the system. So the first thing to do is create multiple accounts. Yes. Create multiple accounts, accounts that will stand as spam or junk account, like four or five. You may have multiple emails. If you have three or four emails, use them to create account. And you don't need to put them under US because when you put them under US, it means you have to verify them. So you have to verify them. So you don't need, you just need to have an account, a normal account like every other person. And I want to give this warning. Please, if you are from Nigeria and other places and you are not from the US, do not go and fill in your bachelor degree and others on your remote tax this thing if uh, remote tax account or profile if you are working outside of the u.s because it, they may block your account my account was just um dealt with now the first thing to do is to create multiple accounts and that's what i have here i have various accounts here like four to five now this other accounts maybe three or four they should be jones or spam accounts whatever you want to name them they are only used for your training practicals. Meanwhile, your real examination is with your main account. And this is how you do it. These days, you see remote has create the name of a course and then create the evaluation. These are two sets of training. You can make mistakes with the, the first training, but with the evaluation, you are not allowed to make mistakes. If you make mistakes with the evaluation, you will not be given the tax so what i ad advise people to do is you are drawn you copy the link for the training then you you start the training when it comes to the place of evaluation you do not start it on your main account you go to the other account since you've done the training to be easy for you to do the training again on any of the other spam accounts that you have like for instance this um so let's take for instance we copied the link and then we are here and then we'll post the link so it's going to lead us directly to the project but this time around it's going to be for the training and evaluation so the evaluation is what you don't want to make mistakes on as you do the evaluation by the time you end the evaluation they will ask you they will tell you if you passed or you did not pass so if you pass, they will allow you to do the project. But if you pass now, it means that you know what the answer is. Then you go to your main, main remote task account to fill in those answers in the evaluation, and you are going to get it right. But if you do not know what the answer is with the first account, you do the same to a second account till you are able to get the answers correctly. And then you can now use it for your main account. And then that is how you pass the training without scenarios. Now, the training with scenarios, this is what you do. When you submit the first time, they are going to tell you that this is your accuracy and you add 60 something percent or, 40, or even 0 percent accuracy. Then you click on the, the corrected one. You're going to see the corrections that they wanted you to make the accurate one you're going to see the corrections they wanted you to make then you leave that page like that and create a new tab just like like um this and then copy the link and put it right there again and continue the training so by the time by the time you're there in the training scenario and you are drawing again or annotating again you can go back to the um 
to the drawing board of the corrected one and check for it check for the corrections that was made and then use that to correct the one you are drawing or annotating now till you are able to make it 100 percent and I'm, I'm sure of that as much as you are seeing the accepted one the accurate one you'll be able to correct the one you are doing next and then when you are done you submit it will be approved so those are the ways to pass your training scenarios and your training test without intervention of anybody now if this is your first time of visiting this channel please subscribe like and click on the notification button if you have any questions you can drop them in the comment i'll be readily there to answer them and for our series it is coming out soon see you later